<laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow, everyone. Wow. Thank you so much. Welcome to the Calvin Dean Show, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, well, another Super Bowl call by Calvin Dean. That is 15, yes, 15 straight calls for the Super Bowl. 15 straight times. Wow. Yep. 15. Ah, amazing, amazing. Uh, We have, we're going to talk about the Super Bowl, the Los Angeles Rams Super Bowl champions. Yeah, yeah. Cincinnati Bengals runner up. Wow, 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 wow. God, I, did they play their hearts out? I mean, beside that one play, uh, the one play that um, Higgins, uh, <laughs> was that an embarrassment to the refs? Oh my God. I mean, Let's just pull the guy's face mask, push him aside, catch the ball, and go for a touchdown right in front of the refs. And what happened to Hall? I thought face masking and, oh, my God, that was the worst non-call in the history of the Super Bowl. That's what I think. Anyway, we have a large show, a big show for you tonight. It's big. We're going to go over the Super Bowl We're going to go over my predictions. Maybe I will even have a prediction for next year. We'll see. And the combine, coaching changes, players going from one team to another. Will Jimmy G be traded? Wow, to the Steelers, I hear. (laughs) Yeah. Wow, that would be awesome for Steeler fans. Okay, everyone, get the popcorn ready. Get your drinks ready. Welcome to The Calvin Dean Show. (laughs) Wow, do we have a show, huh? How about those Los Angeles Rams? Wow, congratulations. To Matthew Stafford, Cooper Cup, MVP. Oh, I mean, the guy was like, he, he was unstoppable, you know, throughout the whole playoffs. Matthew Stafford, hats off to him, playing nine years for the Detroit Lions. Um, you know, he, you know, everyone says he couldn't win the big game, but man, he steamrolled in, in the playoffs, didn't he? I mean, come on. They weren't the number one seed. So they had an extra game they had to play. So, uh, I mean, they did really well. They did really well. Um, if it wasn't for, um, well, I mean, it would have been a lot more um, if they would really would have called that call against Higgins um, throwing, uh, you know, throwing Ramsey to the ground, face masking him, and, um, you know, have another seven points taken off the board. So, you know. It would have been, uh, I think it would have been like a 10-point game. Should have been. Anyway. But, man, the Rams are really good, are in trouble this year. The Rams are in trouble. They have a lot of things going on. Uh, you know, they have a lot of free agents. Uh, you know, um, it's just, it's going to be tough for them. They have to have restructure Matthew Stafford's um, contract. Yeah. And... So, this show, mind you, is going to follow every aspect of what's going on in the NFL right now. I mean, there's a lot of things going on, guys. A lot of things. You know, um, you know, Jimmy G. Yes, Nikki's Niners. My cute little friend up in San Francisco, Nikki. Um, she does not. I mean, she loves. I mean, the Jimmy G. I mean, the, the guy, I mean, she's even having her husband dye his hair dark. 
just to look like Jimmy G. I mean, that's, come on. I mean, that's a little bit much, don't you think? And, uh, you know, and she's buying them T-shirts with the number 10 on it. <laughs> I mean, come on. What's going on there, you know? <laughs> um, the talk of the town is this. The Pittsburgh Steelers are in talks. Yes, talks to the San Francisco 49ers. Now, there could be some big trade going on there. I mean, the San Francisco 49ers want want something. Money, of course. But they're going to want something in return. And let me tell you that the San Francisco 49ers, I mean, they're into draft choices. They're, that's, of course, almost every team is into dra- draft choices other than the Los Angeles Rams. They built their team mainly uh, this year on, on free agencies and stuff. Um, yet, tell you the truth, I, I don't know about this Jimmy G thing. I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers, hmm, I, I like the Steelers. I think, I mean, Ben Roethlisberger retired. And same for Tom Brady. Wow. Just think, two big teams. I mean, the Pittsburgh Steelers, they're huge. They've always been big. Always there in the playoffs, right? Tampa Bay Buccaneers, last year's Super Bowl winners. Well, this year's. Well, last year's 21 was the, yes, Los Angeles Rams. 2020 COVID year was the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But there are teams out there that lost really good quarterbacks. And there's some really good quarterbacks that are on the trading block. Like Aaron Rodgers. Yes, Aaron Rodgers, yes. The saga continues. I think he likes this. I mean, this is his payback from the draft when he was expected to go really early, and he kept going, getting passed over and passed over and passed over. He was pissed. He was pissed. So, um, I mean, he's, yeah, I think he's always had that chip on his shoulder. He is that one of those players that are very, very good but he's a me, me, me type of guy. Just just calling it real, everyone. Just calling it real. And he's, his camp or, you know, his camp or agents, his ca- agency. I mean, they're selling out rumors and all that good stuff. You know, so he's up for consideration. Mr. Wilson Yes, Mr. Wilson up in Seattle. My good friend, Dominino Paulino up in Seattle. Yes, and um, we don't know if uh, the um, Seattle Seahawks will be keeping Mr. Wilson. Now, they're saying that he's off. The, they're not going to trade him. That's what they're saying. So are you going to put a line around him so um, he's not running for his life? I mean, come on. Really? And, you know, they, they were always that running type of offense and then um, the big play um, with Mr. Wilson. But, you know, to be honest, uh, you know, he's been running for his life and he's, you know, he's, he's sick and tired of it. He wants to win and uh, he needs the coaches to step up and put a team around him. I mean, look at Tom Brady. What happened to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Tampa Bay Buccaneers went out and got a lot of free agents, put them in it together, got Gronk, got A.B. I mean, they had an all-star team in 2020. When in 2021, they, they were hurt near the end of the year. Godwin was hurt. Um, and, uh, you know, there was a lot of the guys were hurt in secondary and everything. But they made it to the playoffs. Almost, almost won. Uh, got got beat, fair and square, and uh, you know, look at the Los Angeles Rams. You know they 
they put Matthew Stafford and they put a team around him. And then what did they do? They won the national championship, the world championship of the NFL. So that's what I was trying to get at. You know, that's what these players need. I mean, you know, like a Rodgers. Why wouldn't you put a team like that around Aaron Rodgers? Think about that. You know? And, you know, and in Mr. Wilson up in Seattle as well. So we have to talk about that as well. Wow. Yeah. I'm just, um, there's a lot of things to go over tonight. Uh, you know, I can go on and on and on about Jimmy G and Rodgers and Wilson. And, oh, and what about the drama? Yes, the drama of Deshaun Watson down in Houston. Amazing. Miami, I guess Miami's still looking. I, wow, that just dumbfounds me. I don't know what's going on there. And, you know, places I think if people were traded, I think that Jimmy G would definitely fit well in Pittsburgh. I think if Rodgers would elsewhere, I think he would want to be on the San Francisco 49ers. That would be a fun team to see him on. That that would be an instant Super Bowl. I guarantee you. Nikki's Niners would be you know, they she'd win the Super Bowl. It would you know, she would she, I mean, the girl would be going wild, you know. So um, you know, all the fans too. So everything's up for grabs right now. You know, it just it just is. You know, the NFL is, you know, the the combines going on right now. They're talking about NFL draft. All I can say is this: I'm going to go over a little bit over the Super Bowl, and that's it. Okay, I'm going to recap the Super Bowl, and um, of course, the Los Angeles won twenty three to twenty, and uh, it was. I don't think it was that close because in all reality, I mean, Matthew Stafford, the last um, drive of the game, big drive, and then Donald's play at the end of the game uh, where he had Burroughs in his hand and he's whipping him around and Burroughs um, made a, a pass and, uh, you know, it was, was, you know, like an underhanded pass. It almost got caught too, but that was the fourth down play and then they were done. And Donald had a heck of a game. He really did well. Cincinnati did well. They kept kept him. Uh, they had that one touchdown. Should have been turned uh, turned away. It, the real score should have been twenty three to thirteen. Now, mind you, I don't know. Maybe let's say they they call that and then they they come down and score again. I don't know. It might have been a different game, but I don't. Um, I was a shameful call by the refs, excuse me. And um, it's just, you know, you go on with it. You go on with it. The Los Angeles Rams, I, you know, Matthew Stafford was 26 of 40 for 283 yards, three touchdowns, two interceptions, a quarterback rating of 89.990. Uh, on the other hand, Joe Burrow, 22 for 33. Wow. Wow. 263 yards, only one touchdown. And it was the touchdown that should have been a touchdown. You know what I mean? So, and his quarterback rating was uh, 100.9. That's pretty good. Now, don't, now worry. Now, think about Joe Mixon. Mixon had one for one, six yards, and a touchdown. <laughs> Passer rating, 131. <laughs> oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, that was an exciting play. Bravo to the uh, Cincinnati Bengals on that one. Now, the Cam Akers, I mean, the defense of the Cincinnati Bengals was stout. They, you know, Rams could not run at all. Cam Akers had 13 rushes for 21 yards yards his average was 1.6 that's terrible he had one long run of eight yards and all the runners were like that henderson five yards longest run there was not one runner not one that had double digits 
in one run. Wow. That's just, come on, man. I mean, that was the Achilles heel of the Rams. Uh, they really need to step up this coming year and get a running game going. You know, they can't just rely on Matthew Stafford and the aerial attack because, you know, there's going to be, they're going to need to run the game because they're going to lose some players. I don't think they're going to be able to sign everyone, re-sign everyone. Sony Michelle's up. He's a free agent. You know, I mean, it goes on and on. They have to restructure Matthew Stafford's um, contract. You know, Cam Akers, you know, you know, he has to come back f- from his injuries. Um, he was injured, even was played in the Super Bowl. It didn't look this, like the Cam Akers. He just didn't. Cooper Cup, what a game. Eight receptions, 92 yards, 11.5. Um, average 22 yards was his longest, uh, two touchdowns, 10 targets. Uh, I, I, the guys, I'm sorry, the guys, just give me a break. Now, Odell Beckham tearing his ACL. Oh my God. The guy had two catches. Ready? 52 yards, 26 yards per catch, 35 yards long, and a touchdown. Hello. He's caught two out of three balls. I mean, he if he didn't get hurt, he was going to have a wild, amazing game. And he is a free agent after this year. So, I mean, there's a lot of people who are free agents. Uh, you know, it's going to be tough. Donald, they have to go over his contract, restructure it. Von Miller, free agent. I could go on and on, guys. Now, if you look at the Cincinnati Bengals, on the other hand, Joe Mixon was a stud, 15 carries, 72 yards. 4.8 yards per carry. That's pretty good. Almost five years of carry, right? 14 yards, one long run, and he threw it for a touchdown. Uh, he's good. Higgins, uh, four uh, catches, 100 yards, 25-yard average. Uh, his long was that 75-yard um, catch that he um, interfered with and base masked and threw Ramsey aside and caught the ball, <laughs> and the rest didn't see it. <laughs> I just don't get that. So, I mean, but they're going to come back. They, you know, they have a lot of young players. Um, everyone's coming back. Uh, you don't have to worry about the Cincinnati Bengals. I think they're going to be really tough next year. That defense is really, 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 really good. You know, very, very, very good. So you're going to have to hats off to the Rams. Uh, they're going to, I don't know how they're going to even get a lot of these players back. You know, um, McPherson, wow, what a kicker for the Cincinnati Bengals. You know, I, it's going to be it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. It's going to be interesting. I, I I can't wait till the season starts. But right now, it's it's all about now. You know, it's it's all about this. What's going on? We're looking at the NFL, uh, and uh, man, it's just you know it's scary out there right now. It's scary. You know, the combine, right, that's going on right now. Scary for a lot of players. You know, I mean, look at Odell Beckham. I mean, another ACL tear. <sighs> you know, will he come back? And if he does come back, uh, will he go to the Rams? I think he'll keep it in Rams. I think Odell would keep in the Rams and take, like, you know, like uh, um, just a regular you know, NFL contract would make like a million a year or something like that. And then everything else, um, you know, is on top, tacked on top of that, all incentives, you know. Uh, I think that would be interesting. I don't know if it's if they'll keep him. I, I just don't know, you know. But he had a great season, great season. Hats off to Odell. Uh, it was great to see him, you know. There's a, um, a lot of big free agents this year. I mean, think about it. You got Godwin, Chris Godwin of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Devontae Adams of the Green Bay Packers, and they're in the Green Bay Packers, um, you know, Devontae's not saying a word until he sees if Aaron Rodgers is coming back. You know, if he, Aaron Rodgers is coming back and they have snow, oh, no, no, it's not going to happen. And then there's J.C. Jackson, the cornerback. Yeah? Oh, wow. And then you have Tyron Armstead. Wow. He's a free agent. Orlando Brown, the offensive, big offensive tackle of the Kansas City Chiefs. He's on, um, he's 
he's definitely, you know, up for grabs. You have Mike Williams of the uh, Chargers, Von Miller, Los Angeles Rams ch- championships, Carlton Davis, Chandler Jones of Arizona, Jesse Bates. Wow. It keeps going on and on. Galitsky from Miami. Allen Robinson from Chicago. Wow. Could you just see, I mean, Allen Robinson go? I mean, Chicago. Wow. I mean, Odell Beckham, of course, I went over that. And um, Ryan Jensen, the center of the Tampa Bay Bucks. Now, what's going to happen with Tampa Bay? You know, are they going to try to keep people? Well, you know, who's going to be running their offense? Stefan Gilmore. He, he is going to be up for grabs. Wow. There is a lot of people that are up for grabs. Michael Gallup. Now, I, I think they'll get, you know, I think the Dallas Cowboys are going to keep him, but he got hurt. So I don't know about that, you know, an ACL tore, a tear, excuse me. They're talking about getting rid of Cooper. So Calais Campbell, he's up for grabs, defensive lineman. He's huge. He's huge. You know, I mean, there's so many. Melvin Ingram, he is up for grab. You know, I mean, Rob Gronkowski. Now, Rob was a big tight end for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. You know, come on, Rob Gronkowski, the Gronk, you know. He's up for grabs, and um, you know he was, you know he's, he's he was talking retirement. He's talking retirement, but, but, he, if he you know gets on the right team, think about it, you know Super Bowl contender like maybe the if Rodgers stays at Green Bay, Devontae Adams stays, and then they bring Gronk in. <laughs> Wow, what a team that would be, huh? Wow. Man, that would be a team. Man, man, oh man, oh man. You know, we have so many who are free agents. You know, it's just Cordell Patterson. You know Cordell from Atlanta Falcons. I mean, the guy is like Debo Samuels. I mean, well, he's kind of like that. Lines up in the backfield, wide out, big. You know, the, the guy is really good. What about Evan Ingram, the tight end of the New York football giants? Hmm. He never really, you know, came about. You know, he has that talent, that raw talent. But, you know, just because you have raw talent doesn't mean that you make it in the NFL. Really. You know, there's a lot of guys who have raw talent, but they don't have the heart, you know, to make it. You know, you have to have the heart. You have to have the smarts, too. When I was playing baseball, you know, I, you know, go to the next game. You'd think I was just going into the game, not looking at who I was facing, which pitcher I was facing. Do you think you are you? I, come on, really? Think about it. Get a base hit. Now, I'm, you know, leading off first, right? Well, guess what? I studied. I studied the game. I studied their motions when they're in the windup, the pitch when they aren't in the windup. There's a runner on, right? There you go. Different windup. And, you know, when they're going to go home, what type of pitch they throw when there's a runner on first or second. You have to know all those things. What I'm trying to get at is that, you know, it takes smarts, not just brawn and talent, you know, but, you know, to play football, you have to be smart as well. And I think Evan Ingram has all that. He's 28 years old and, you know, he was supposed to be this amazing, amazing tight end and I don't think I think he was on the wrong team he was on the New York football Giants and New York Giants have been terrible for the last five seasons five seasons oh my god terrible you know there's so many people I that really have like DJ Chark yeah Chark the wideout over in um, Jacksonville he's up he's 25 years old 
And he's and what about James Conner? James Conner of the Arizona Cardinals. Yes, James Conner. Wow, did he come on? He's 27 years old. And man, he got on a team and boy did he show some talent. And um he he carried that team near the end. And there's another Mar- Marquez Valdez Scandling of the Green Bay Packers. Now think about that. Scandling, you know, Rodgers goes. Oh, my God. Think about that. And then the number one wideout for Rodgers, Devontae Adams. That guy is unstoppable. He's 29 years old. And the guy is just, he's unstoppable. I mean, he's tall. He's big. He has moves. He's fast. He has hands. I mean, the guy just doesn't drop bat balls. He's like Cooper Cup. Doesn't drop balls. And he's up, you know, for free agency. Chris Godwin, he's another phenom. 26 years old. You know, he's up for, uh, you know, for free agency. I mean, it's coming off an ACL tear he suffered in December. So, you know, I don't know if he'll be ready for the season or not. I mean, they're working wonders with ACL tears these days, but I don't know about that. You know what I mean? What's We're going to have to talk about the combine. <laughs> I don't know about that. You think about it, the combine. So they run a 40, and they're fast, and they're this, and they're that. You know, but think about that. I mean, you can be all fast and all, but if you don't catch the ball, if you don't run run the routes if you aren't studying the field you aren't studying defenses uh, and you're not in sync with your QB then you know all this combine stuff is kind of um, doesn't really matter other than you know the quarterbacks they go out and they they fire um, you know some great uh, you know passing Drills and you know they have the the lights and the, I mean it's it's fun it's fun the combine's fun but it, you know it's it's not it's not all that and then some you know what I mean and then you have the quarterback index uh, rankings uh, and you have Tom Brady was last year that was his uh, they gave it to him and then he didn't win the MVP I didn't understand that help me understand that you know help me understand I I just I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I I just don't understand that. <laughs> I mean, does anyone help me out on that? Really? I mean, come on, man. <sighs> I just didn't think Rodgers had deserved it. I thought Tom really deserved it more. I really do. I really do. Um, and, you know, I, I like Tom Brady a lot more. I mean, Russell Wilson's a great you know, Mr. Wilson up in Seattle. Yeah. Dummies, um, crush. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that, but you don't want that. Oh, uh, she's killing me. Anyway, just uh, wanted to talk about the year of 2022. It's going to look great, and I can't wait to see all these teams come about. We're going to go over everything. We're going to go over the um, the draft. Uh, In a couple weeks, we're going to be doing that. Not too many shows before the draft. Uh, I think one or two shows are scheduled. Then the draft show. And then I am on a hiatus uh, until August. So I am moving the show. And it's still going to be the Calvin Dean show. and uh, But we are moving. And that is a secret where we're moving right now. But I will tell everyone, and I'll even do a video. We're going to start doing video podcasting, which is like YouTubing. And that's going to come in the year, this year, 2022 season. So that's going to be fun. There's going to be cameras, and, uh, and then I'm going to, have, I'm going to flash some uh, you know, great stuff, really great stuff, like plays and talking when I'm talking about a player. You're, they're going to have the player in the background. It's going to be interesting, very interesting. It's going to be fun. I'm going to have a lot of people coming on to the show as well. It's going to be a, a, an excellent, excellent time. 
and I can't wait. I just can't wait to um, bring this all about. There's a lot of hard work going into this, a lot of hard work, guys. So I just uh, wanted to go over that. Now, there's some coaching changes. Coachings, you know, um, the, the Saints, you know, head coach Dennis Allen, still one voice for the Saints defense despite co-defense coordinators. So I don't know what's going on there. Despite the departure of Sean Payton, the New Orleans Saints coaching staff will look much the same in 2022. Hmm. How the defense is run will likewise be much the same despite Dennis Allen's ascending from defensive coordinator to head coach. And Chris Richard and Ryan Nielsen taking over as coordinators for the defense. Wow. So, I mean, that's, that's going to be tough for the Saints to turn around their, uh, you know, their season. And, uh, you know, they, they are in desperate need for a quarterback. They are in desperate need for a quarterback. They, they are, they, they need one. They really do. And they need a, yeah, they just, they need the offense to step up. I mean, Drew Brees, he's gone, you know, and he was the Saints, he was the Saints team. He was New Orleans sweetheart of sweetheart for many, many years. You know, and he left. And last year, he didn't look pretty. They almost got in the playoffs. <laughs> they almost got in the playoffs with a team that was just, you know, fit a player here, fit a player there. Okay, the quarterback is hurt. Jameis Winston got hurt. And then they have to fit every, all these other players in. And, you know, they have a quarterback that's not really a quarterback. He's a tight end, but he's, 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 he's a runner. And, oh, my God. They, they really have to figure that out, guys. They really have to figure that out. It's not going to work in the NFL. This, I mean, the NFL now, think about it. Josh Allen, you know, you have Russell Wilson, you know, all these great quarterbacks, you know, still Rodgers, right? Right. Mahomes. <laughs> Mahomes. Burroughs. Wow. I mean, on and on, you know. I can go, I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. And don't forget Mr. Jackson in Baltimore. Yeah, Lamar Jackson. You don't forget him. And I got some predictions on this, guys. I have some predictions on this. I really did. The other day, I was thinking about things, and I'm thinking about Lamar Jackson, and him and I are tweeting back and forth to each other. And you, know, you can go on to my Calvin Dean at, at Calvin Dean my Twitter and you can see our conversation that we're going on and I really believe I mean now the Baltimore Ravens are really working overtime to sign um, him to an extension and I think he's well deserved it and I'm telling you right now Baltimore is going to be all healthy next year they're going to be tough I really believe they're going to be in the hunt. And they might even be in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really think that Lamar Jackson's going to, I think he has this big chip. I think the team has a big chip. I think they're really, really good. And I think they're going to come back. And I think, you know, they're, they might even get a couple of free agencies. Like, think about it. Bring in Gronk. Wow. Godwin, hoo, hoo, hoo. wow! Look, 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 look! Now it's looking really good, isn't it? Then they got that running game going on. Oh, and Hollywood Brown. Hmm. I see Super Bowl. That's what I see when I see the Baltimore Ravens. Now, the Buffalo Bills, on the other hand, boy, I can see it too. And man, now the Cincinnati Bengals—they're in the hunt. Wow. And you can't forget the Kansas City Chiefs. The AFC looks really good. And if Jimmy G goes to Pittsburgh, watch out. Wow. That's going to be wild. You know, I just think the NFL, the NFC is going to be tough. NFC is going to be tough. Uh, you know, if Rodgers goes elsewhere, Deshaun Watson, all these, these scenarios. 
take effect. You know, I I don't know. I just don't see San Francisco going as far without Jimmy G. I just don't see it. I don't see it happen. That's just me. They got Debo. They got a lot of other players, but I don't know. Trey Lance, I just don't. Man, I just. Huh. Jimmy G brought him to the championship game. He brought him to the Super Bowl before. I mean, you know, he's a winner. He's just a winner. And uh, people have to realize that, especially the San Francisco 49ers. Nikki's Niners have to really be concerned about that. Anyway, thank you for tuning in to the Calvin Dean Show. It's been fun. And, um, hey, go to thecalvindeanshow.com. Go into the contact me. Give me your name, which team you like, okay? And you will get, ready, a free hat from nflshop.com. Wow. Isn't that cool? So right now, right when I log off, go right to thecalvindeanshow.com. Go to the contact me. Tell me what your favorite team is. Tell me where you want to ship, and I'll get it to you. You have a wonderful time. See you in a week. Take care. Calvin Dean. Thank you.